Hello and a happy new year. I'm back with you vlogging for 2018. Admittedly, I am a little bit late in doing this because guess who forgot to charge his camera? Anyway, I am, as of a few days ago, four months on testosterone. Not a lot has really changed in the past month. Um, I don't feel like my voice has changed at all. Um, if anything, I think the most noticeable thing is, is that um, across my moustache line, the hairs are getting a wee bit coarser. There's a few dark hairs. The peach fuzz down the side of my face is um, getting a bit thicker a bit longer but it's still completely faint um, so you can only see it like right up close at my face um, at the right angle um, so I'm, go I'm going to save you the awkwardness of me coming and trying to position my face I'm going to put a photo in here that I took where you can kind of make it out um, but it's really not great I'm still desperately waiting for that to come in um, same with the rest of like my body here, my legs, my stomach. It feels as if it's maybe getting a bit thicker, but you can really only tell if you're actually right in front of me, right beside me. Um, which is really unfortunate, but it has only been four months, so it's a start. Other than that, I'm just painfully aware of the fact my skin is very oily um, like literally if I touch my face and then hold a glass it just leaves greasy fingerprints like that it's really really bad so my ambition in amongst my goals and resolutions for 2018 and all these good things is to sort out a skincare routine that will count not counter it but just really help to manage the oiliness of my skin and of my hair which is shiny just now because there's product in it but if I left it like this and then didn't have a shower tomorrow morning it would just be filthy. Um, on that I also actually had my first ever trip to a barber which was actually quite nice because I went to a barber in Glasgow who has done like some events with LGBT plus groups and they were just super fine with me and um, just talked through what we're going to do with my hair that time I had it cut just before New Year and um, I got a fade in which I really really like but because up until then I had just been attacking my hair myself there's this bit which yeah you can see is sticking up it's really really bad um, because I, I struggled trying to do the top at the back of my head myself so I think I took the clippers far too high um, and they basically said we just need to wait and let that grow into the style which is fine um, but I'm really I'm loving having my wee quiff and, and just feeling like it's actually got a style cut in it the only thing I can't decide is between like the wet look with product or the matte look with product um, Votes, thoughts, opinions, matte or wet look, um, let me know, drop a comment. I've completely gone off tangent, this was supposed to just be about my four months on testosterone. Um, a voice comparison is probably apt, I'm not going to put in pre-testosterone month one, month two and month three. From now on I'm just going to do... Oh. I'm going to do, scratch that, I'm going to do all of them until I'm maybe about six months on testosterone and then I'll maybe just do like a couple of comparisons because I don't want the video to end up really long just with me saying like hey my name is Ethan and this is my voice however long on testosterone um, but it's only four months so it's probably not going to be too long and I still feel like my voice has a lot to go to change so we'll stick them all in now. Hello! 
My name is Ethan. It is the 4th of October 2017 and this is my voice one month on testosterone. Today is the 4th of November 2017 and this is my voice two months on testosterone. Today is the 4th of December 2017 and I am three months on testosterone. This is my voice four months on testosterone and that's really about it. Um, other than that, I know I have been appalling over the past couple of months and only done my monthly updates. I am committing myself in 2018 to get my YouTube channel and my blog all back up and running properly. I have actually posted a few on um, my blog through the week, which is linked down below if you want to go and check out my blog. Um, so far I've really just been talking about the changes I want to make in 2018 and why I'm coming back to blogging. Um, but I'm aiming to post at least twice a week on my blog. Um, possibly three if I can squeeze it in. It's really time dependent but I'm going to push myself to commit to at least twice a week. I'm going to push myself to upload to YouTube once a week. Um, purely because of the time constraints I have with everything else going on and I want to make the effort to make my videos sharper and crisper and sleeker and I'm also uploading to two collaborative channels, Scott Trans, which I run so if you're transitioning in Scotland and want to consider joining a channel it's linked down below, check it out, check out the contributors and drop me a message if you're interested we can discuss that, um, particularly if you are of the trans feminine side and um, that would be great because at present we do not have any trans feminine people um, I'm also getting back onto paper boys which is linked as well because I've ended up taking accidentally a very extended break um, I am hoping to have an incredible 2018 I have lots of goals and ambitions and things I want to achieve um, I'm going to share as much of it as I can with you along the way. Obviously there are going to be some times I just keep things personal because I don't want to put everything out there but at the same time as much as possible I want to share my journey with you. Um, the biggest thing I guess just to finish off with is that I did have another appointment with Sandyford that did not go well um, which I'm pretty sure I spoke about in my three month video because I think it was just before I hit three months on testosterone. I feel like I did. Um, but basically the NHS will not pick up my testosterone, my HRT, because I am too overweight for them. Um, so I need to lose like a stone or six kilos or something in and around that. I don't know exactly how it crosses over or whatever. Um, so that's my biggest goal right now. Meanwhile, I am still continuing with Dr. Mishkov because despite their recommendations at the NHS that I stop testosterone, I'm not about to do that. Um, if someone can give me an absolute concrete reason why it is going to be detrimental to my health to take testosterone being overweight, given there are overweight cisgender men, no. Nah, um, the only thing I can think of is the fact that it's, I believe it is a fat soluble hormone so having excess fat maybe means your testosterone levels would be low um, but clearly when I look back at my changes month to month despite being overweight testosterone is still having an effect on me which just maybe makes me think if I was not overweight right now would I be four months on testosterone and have had slightly more pronounced changes who knows so yes I am sticking at that, but I will update you all with another video all about that in February when I have my next appointment with Dr. Mishkoff and I'm supposed to have an appointment with the NHS clinic in February also to reevaluate things having hoped that I've lost the weight I need to for them to prescribe. But long story short, I am on placement from half eight in the morning to five all through the week so I doubt they're going to be able to accommodate me moving the time. I'm probably going to have to push it until after, which is the end of May. But my logic says hopefully by then I will have lost 
however much I would need to lose to be considerable for a top surgery referral, which right now is my biggest ambition. This year, I want the referral for top surgery. This year, I want top surgery, let's be honest, but I don't know if that's going to happen. A guy can dream, right? Um, anyway, this is me four months on testosterone and consider this also your New Year ramble and catch up from me. And yeah, I'll see you next time.